What's going on guys? My name is Zach from The Cutting Board. Today I'm going to take you through how I make this set of floating shelves with miter corners using two different building techniques as well as different sets of tools to achieve the exact same result. Now these shelves are awesome and very simple and very cheap and they work really well as standalone projects or as part of a larger gallery wall in my case. Now I used just a 1x8 from my local Home Depot and I used a 1x8 because I wanted them to be deep enough to hold a set of books in one shelf as well as other knickknacks that I thought might look cool with my larger gallery wall. So let's go ahead and get started. So as I said before, I'll be making two box shelves with mitered edges out of just a single 1x8. Now I bought the crappier pine but was careful to find the nicest piece, basically the best of the worst. Now there are many ways to do this and I'll show you two. So first up, I'm using my miter saw to cut four 12-inch pieces that I had measured out. I could then go to my table saw, set my blade at 45 degrees exactly, and create mitered edges on one side of all my pieces, then flip them around and create the same edge on the other side, giving me four lovely pieces of equally cut wood with nice 45 degree edges. Now I could have done this on my miter saw, but for some reason my miter saw is a little bit crooked and it's not cutting super clean, so I chose this method because it was an alternative to the types of tools that I already have. The other option is to use a straight edge, which you can clamp down if you have one, set your circular saw to 45 degrees, and then run your saw through the wood. You could then flip it over and repeat that process to create the exact same piece that I created in my first method. Now I wanted to experiment with the tape method with mitered edges, but it was like 107 degrees out in California that day, and for whatever reason it didn't work. I don't know if it was the wood species or just the heat which prevented the tape from sticking, but after applying glue and spreading it out on all of my surfaces, I tried to tape it up, but it just wasn't working. So my solution was to use brad nails to hold everything in place. If you don't have a brad nailer, you can just use a clamp to hold your pieces together and a regular hammer with some nails. To be honest, you don't even need the nails. If you can clamp up your shelves on all four sides, the glue joint will be plenty strong enough to hold as a shelf. So once the glue dried, I could sand over all my edges with some 80 grit on my orbital sander, mostly removing any sharp edges and excess glue that spilled over during the glue up. Then a bit of hand sanding at 120 grit to take away the sharp edges on the fronts and backs of the shelves so no one would get any splinters when reaching for a book. Then for finish, I'm using just a single coat of some summer oak stain from Minwax that I had lying around. And I didn't even bother with a pre-stain conditioner on these shelves. The pine can sometimes come off as blotchy, but I have found that this particular stain actually takes really well to this wood and it comes out quite even. So once the stain dried, the shelves were done. Since I'm mounting to drywall, I'll be using these anchors with their associated screws, as well as this piece of angle bracket that I got from my local hardware store and the screws that came with it. I started out by placing my shelf where I thought it would look good. And then after making sure things were level, I could mark areas and pre-drill holes for my wall anchors. Then hammer them lightly into the wall, drill in and attach my angle brackets. Then on the underside of the top part of my shelf, I could mark the spots where I would attach the bracket to the shelf and then pre-drill small holes to avoid splitting the wood. And then finally hand drill in the screws to physically hang the shelf. And then after repeating that same process for my bottom shelf, it was time to test them out. So that is gonna wrap it up for this video. Thanks so much for watching. This was a super easy project with very simple, cheap materials that I knocked out in just half of an afternoon on my weekend. If you did enjoy it, just let me know by hitting the like button as well as subscribing to the channel. I try to put out projects every couple of weeks and you're welcome to check out some of the past builds that I've worked on. Thanks again one more time for watching. I hope you guys were inspired to go out and build something of your own just like this. And I'll see you guys next time on The Cutting Board.